Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood, Fulham of Freedom winning against Dartford in the National South. Adam, how do you feel after that one? Oh, obviously, delighted. You know, what a performance from, from the boys. Um, you know, it's, it felt a bit like a, a Bogner game, a Derby game, like full house here and um, had that kind of sort of tension to it. And, um, you know, for the lads to go and perform when they did, I thought that was exceptional. Um, you know, really disappointed with um, not coming in um, by more goals at half time, really. I thought Aaron's header was, was brilliant. We've looked at it back. Um, don't see a foul anywhere. So, you know, if anything, you know, I thought we could have could have took a bit more. But, um, you know, like I say, full credit to the players. I thought that was excellent today. It's particularly remarkable when you consider how good Dartford have been this season. They've been top of the league most of the year. We even said on Thursday how tough a game this was going to be. Um, it must have been so important getting those early goals to get a leg up in this one. No, it was, yeah. I thought we'd come out of the traps really well. Started sharp. Um, I think it was like 2 0 within like the first 12 minutes or so. And, um, you know, really give us a good platform to, to play from. But, you know, they're, they're a top side, top manager for this, this level. Um, lots of experience in their side that, you know, have used to used to winning at this level so yeah for us to go and perform the way we did was excellent and um yeah, i just hope the the lads get a lot of belief from from how they play and believe in themselves and believe they were top side because uh like i say i thought it's some really good stuff speaking of the goals all your pierce's second one uh <laughs> fun the boat under under the under the underside of the bar doesn't score many like that um he must be over the moon with that one yeah no he's he's only a good good run of form at the moment he's, he's working hard um and i always feel with ollie that if he's working hard and running about he gets himself in a good um condition uh mentally and he's he can take his chances and i think he's in that place at the moment so yeah i just want to keep him um working hard for the team and um, we know he's got that bit of quality um, and he showed it today but yeah there's some other good chances I thought Lewis had a real good chance early on uh, great run superb touch and uh, unfortunately couldn't quite put it away uh, Josh had a couple of one-on-ones as well and I thought he was um, you know real live wire as, as well today I thought um, you know he's uh, missed, missed the game at Eastbourne um, and come in today and I thought he's excellent really sharp and David Rodari as well probably at his best since he's come back in it's his first goal for the club since coming back against his old team as well funny enough yeah he must be like buzzing with that it'll be a big boost for his confidence too no definitely yeah we've just got um got a bit of a slight knock on his knees so we've just got to manage that that's why I brought him off but yeah I thought he was 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 excellent looked really sharp and played with a point to prove and just said to him when he come off you know that's got to be how he gets himself um, before every game you know almost playing with that point to prove all the time because you know when he does that he's a real big big player for us and um, like I say I'm really really pleased with the squad we've got together now um, I think there's um, it's a young hungry group of players and you know they certainly played that way today and um, f- at the end of the game as well three academy graduates finished that one off um, the age the age difference in this team it's all coming through the system as well no, oh, yeah, excellent. Um, you know, Lewis has got real, real potential, and I'm pleased he got caught on the pitch to experience and you know uh, a big game like today. Uh, I thought Ruben and Joe again. I thought the whole back four really was was excellent, and H and um, you know he didn't have loads and loads to do, but you know he's there um, to to call upon. I think there was one that was offside, but he made an unbelievable save early on in the game and. Um, you know, do do them guys uh, their confidence a lot of good, and if you can get a young um, team confident and um, you know working hard for each other, then it really bodes well. And you know, I think we've got that at the moment, so we want to you know keep keep the momentum going. The momentum's going into Tuesday and Saturday, a busy week coming ahead. Uh, how how confident are you going into uh, Dover on Tuesday now? No, oh, yeah, two two very tough away games now. Um, Dover of let some players go and brought some new players in. Obviously, the the manager's changed as well, so he'll be looking to you know make an impression. So that's always um, a difficult one. And you know we know know Tom Bridge, the guys down there. Jay's you know a, a great guy and knows this level really well. So he'll he'll know all about us. Um, so yeah, we've got to just maintain our performance levels. Um, we've got to recover well. Uh, make sure we you know, act in a professional way now and be ready for, for Tuesday because um, I think the lads have set a standard of um, the type of performance that we want and um, you know that's what we've got to try and find now, that consistency. Awesome, thank you. Cheers guys.